We all know, of course, how talented the Cleveland Orchestra is, but there is another orchestra in town getting a lot of attention as well. Apollo's Fire is an international Baroque orchestra based here in Northeast Ohio, and these talented musicians earned a Grammy nomination this year. Andrew Horansky has their story. They're named after the classical god of music, Apollo's Fire, and they're giving Cleveland a name through their unique sound. Their latest album, Songs of Orpheus, features the vocal work of Lebanese American tenor Kareem Suleiman. Online reviews are nearly perfect. It sometimes is just the aligning of the stars and everything comes together. This was a beautiful album. An album now nominated for a Grammy. Very, very excited. And a post fire deserves it. In a city known for one of the most famous orchestras in the world, one might wonder whether there's even room for anyone else. But Apollo's Fire takes a different approach. A Baroque orchestra, they're smaller. Focusing on early classical and folk music, they use period instruments to recreate how the songs originally sounded. Understand how that music was performed at the time, and then use that understanding to bring it to life for modern audiences. Because people had lost track of how the style actually was meant to be back in the time of the music, in, in 1650 or whatever. Roughly half the musicians are from out of town. Performances include dance and singing, and a repertoire that includes composers often overlooked, such as Claudio Monteverdi. The music of Monteverdi is so phenomenal. It's just that we don't know it because, you know, we have kind of forgotten. Like Bach, Beethoven, Mozart, that great. And once again, alive. For the past 25 years, it's been no secret that Apollo's fire is here and phenomenally good. Only now, they may be finally getting the broader mainstream attention they deserved all along. Andrew Horansky, Channel 3 News.